Well, guys, I've got to be honest, we're really, really stumbling over the line here. But thankfully, so is Baltimore and Toronto. So uh, we can win the division today with a win. And I want to make sure that we're doing that, going out in style. And, of course, this is the last opportunity as well for uh, MVP nominations before they close. So uh, make sure you don't waste this opportunity to impress. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to Season 5, Episode 8 here at the New York Yankees as we try and win the World Series using only American players. And today we can wrap up the AL East. Uh, we have somewhat stumbled over the line. We've won 8 of 16 since I saw you last. And, uh, well, thankfully, you can see that the Jays and the Orioles have been struggling just about as much as we have. And we've put ourselves in a decent position. Though we have won our last three. It was getting a little bit close, to be honest. I think there was two games uh, There were two games back before this uh, little streak that was, has happened. Um, so we're playing the Orioles today. We know we've struggled against them in the past. But if we were to beat them, then... Uh, well, actually, we've already knocked them out, haven't we? Because they're six games back. So it doesn't really matter what happens. We just need to match the Jays result basically and it will be it'll be done today uh now quick look here at the home screen to catch you up on what's happened now there's no real new injuries the one thing that has happened is Josh Stowers he's day-to-day -day, uh sprained elbow it's one of these where I figured let's just expanded roster as well we can get around it let's just put him on the DL get him ready get him fit ready to go for the uh for the playoffs and yeah hopefully he will be back fit and firing so he's he's not available but uh Adele has come back from his injury, so he we just basically switched him in when Adele was uh, the, the the injury to Stowers. Actually, I think it happened the same day that Adele was ready to come off of the uh, off of the off of the uh, the injured list. So it was it was like it was meant to be, basically. So that is what we've done. Uh, so no new injuries. If we go and have a quick look at how we've done since last episode. Uh, now, of course, last episode we left off. It was this loss here, wasn't it? To uh, to the Baltimore Orioles. We had two disappointing games with that 17 innings uh, against the Marlins we lost, but then we did come back with a good win in game three. The Jays, we had two good wins and then a terrible loss. We went to Jacksonville. I mean, you couldn't ask for a tighter series. Two 1-2 one, two losses and then a game in extra innings that we lost as well. Um, so an unlucky series to be swept in, I would say, uh, but we were swept nonetheless, which doesn't, didn't help anyway, the, the battle for the uh, AL East. We went and played Oakland. We won two of three. We did drop one in extra innings, but that can happen. So that was okay. The Rays, they finally beat us, but then we went and uh, won the other two games of that series. We had the first game of this series against Baltimore. That was a win that puts us today in a position where if we, um, if we match, as I said, Toronto's result, we will be the winners of the AL East. Quick look at everybody's numbers uh, with the expanded roster, of course, as well. Now, it's a uh, for a start. We probably want pitching numbers again. I did put this up on the Discord earlier today for everybody to have a bit of a longer look, if uh, if you so choose. But yeah, it's not it's not going too badly. The one, I mean, if you look at Jack Little, I mean, his FIP isn't great, and his batting average. <laughs> against isn't great but he's got that era right back down again he's he's actually rebounded quite well but i mean look at these eras there's no one there that that would seriously concern you era plus the one is uh is jack little but again it's not too bad i mean even war the pitching staff this season has been absolutely first class i cannot i cannot criticize them to be honest any of them they've all been really really good uh, if we go and have a look at the hitting um it is a little bit of a uh little bit of a different story perhaps nico horner had a 20 game hit streak since last episode uh he is he's now our third baseman essentially i've given up on grosjean's when horner is doing so well with the bat and there's not well grosjean is an is an error machine at third base anyway so uh we've made that change yeah i mean nick meyer who has started as a backup catcher or third choice catcher coming into the season he's done okay but you can see he's not He's, he's very much back up for this season. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this o OPS Plus, there's quite a few there below 100, which is a little bit concerning. Um, but most of the most of the guys that we would want to do well with the bat, they are doing well with the bat. So that is uh, so that is a good thing. Uh, though that is pretty much everything caught up on. Not too much happening off the field, which is good, because amongst other things, that means no new injuries. So let's have a look at what we're doing at the lineups for this game against the Orioles. Win, and we are through to uh, the AL, well, we are the AL East champions. 
So this is the lineup for today's game. Fletcher leads us off at second. Horner bats second at third. It is Smith at first base batting third. Corey Sager cleans up at shortstop. Gallo in right field bats five. It is Adele Desnetta hitting at six. JJ bats seven in left field. Isbell in center field bats eight. Cam Gallagher is our catcher. Griffin Canning is back from injury. He is going to get the start today. He's done really well since he came back in. Look at that whip. 0.8. Yeah, I mean, long may continue. This is the sort of numbers that I was hoping to get from him when we signed him. So hopefully he's going to continue uh, with that sort of form. We're up against Isaac Matson. Uh, his ERA this season is 5.1. And look at these matchups I just noticed as well. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, so he looks to be, I mean, average is doing him a favor, really, if we're honest. Uh, ERA of 517, a whip of 146, an ERA plus of 94, a war of 1.2, which is surprising, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, let's go see what we can do to him. So Camden Yards, here we go. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, this is the last call for the MVP nominations for our Golden All-Star. Thank you, everybody, who has nominated already. Um, but yeah, whoever you think is uh, worthy of being our MVP, and you can nominate more than one person, obviously, when it comes to voting. Uh, we'll have the uh, one man one or one person, one vote rule invoked as uh, we get off to a nice start there with Fletcher hitting into right field. But at the nomination stage, nominate away as many players as you like. In now comes... Is that going to leave? No, it's not. In now comes uh, Nico Horner. Now, Nico Horner has 599 career hits. So approaching a milestone for him. Uh, brings Dominic Smith in, batting 287 this season. A full count, one out, one on. And that'll put a second man on now for Corey Sager. And now since last episode, Corey Sager, who's batting 286 this season, has got his 800th career RBI. He's not going to add to that there as that is popped way, way up. To bring up Joey Gallo. And Joey Gallo, since this episode, has hit his 250th career home run. And it would be a nice opportunity to get another one here. But, oh, he's got it down the first base line. But it is going to end the innings. So two base runners, no runs. And that'll end the top of the first. In now, Griffin Canning to face uh, Vavra, who is batting 284. It's a 3-1. Ideally, Canning won't start with a, uh, a walk. And he doesn't. Smith picks that up. And that is out at first. One away. Rauchman, who is the star of their team, an American catcher as well, who we will... Uh, he's on our radar, let's just say that. He's not a free agent anytime soon, I don't believe, but I would love to get him in, especially with Gallagher and Carson Kelly aging a little bit. We could do with a good young American uh, American catcher coming in and, uh, and filling a nice little hole in the lineup, but that is a double... And uh, with two out, there's a man at second, and it's going to be Rio Ruiz coming in now, batting 260 this season. It's a 2-2, two -two, and Griffin Canning, that should end the innings. There we go, and we don't have anything to worry about. The first is done, it's scoreless, and it's Joe Adele batting 248 that comes in. My favorite stat still stands, no career triples for Joe Adele. He walks to start us off, we'll take that. JJ comes in now, batting 281. And since last episode, JJ's got his 600th career hit. But he gets another walk there. Two on with no one out. We haven't swung a bat yet. Isbell comes in. Isbell with 96 career RBIs. But that's a... Oh, it's an error. They've loaded the bases with an error. And just like that, it's Cam Gallagher batting 255 with a chance to give us the lead. Loaded bases, none out. If we don't score... I might start crying, but Gallagher has hit it well. It's a good catch in center field, and it doesn't prevent. I thought that was going straight to the catcher like a bullet then, but Adele tags up. He scores, so it's an RBI for Gallagher. It's one nothing, and Fletcher comes in. One for one he is today. A 293 batting average, and Fletcher's absolutely crushed that down the right field line. That's going to score two more, is it? One's come across. No, it is just one, but it's an RBI double for Fletcher. It's two nothing. Still just the one out, and it's Nico Horner to the plate, chasing that 600th career hit. And that's not going to get it done, but what that should do, as it's quite deep, is drive in another run. So it's 3-0 now. Well done to Nico Horner. And it is Dominic Smith who walked last time around. Dominic Smith up the middle, but into the shift. And that'll end the innings. But for once, we loaded the bases and scored some runs. So 3-0 to the Yankees. It's Chance Cisco coming in now. He's batting 246 to face Griffin Kenning. It's an 0-1 pitch. And that is going to drop in for a leadoff single. 
JJ gets it in. And it's Santander now batting 289 this season. A first pitch swing. And that is popped up. Back goes, uh, who's that? Sega, isn't it? It's a shift on. So Sega makes the play. One away. Runner stays at first for Westberg, who's batting 215 this season. It's a 1 0. It's well hit. That is up the middle through the infield. And that is runners at first and second now with just the one away. Kenning to face Sanchez, who is batting 278. It's a 2 2. We would love a strikeout, and we get a strikeout. That's two down. And it brings in uh, Deva. De Deveo, let's go with that. He is 0 for 13 this season. Let's keep that 0. It looks like we should. Fletcher has it. Goes to the base. I'm not quite sure he got there in time, but the game says he's out. So that's fine. And we'll go to the top of the third. And it's Corey Sager leading us off. A 1-2 pitch. And that is ripped down the first base line. But the first baseman's equal to it. One away. Joey Gallo now, who's 0 for 1, comes in. First pitch swing from Joey, and he's hit it. Unfortunately for us, he's hit it, but not over the fence. And that is two away for Joe Adele, who walked last time up. It's a 1-2, and Joe Adele, he's hit it, but is it? No, it's not going to drop in. Oh, it is going to drop in. Joe Adele with a two-out double. It looked like it was uh, just sitting up nicely to be caught. But anyway, it brings JJ in. He walked last time up as well. It's an 0-1 pitch. JJ! No! He pops it into right field. And that will end the top of the third. It's still 3-0. And it's Kenning to face Vavra, who is 0-1 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. And it's another strikeout for Griffin Kenning. Two of them he has now as Rauchman comes in. He's 0-1 today. A first pitch swing. That is popped up. Isbell's underneath it and makes a simple catch. Two away. And it's Kirschstad who got a hit, didn't he? A double, I think it was, last time up. A full count. Two out. No one on. And that drifts wide. And it is a two-out walk with Ruiz now coming in. He is 0 for 1. A 2-1 pitch. Two out, one on. And that should do it. JJ's there. And that'll end the third. So still 3-0. As things stand, we are AL East champions. Isbell will come in now. He is 0-1 today. It's a 3-0. Surely a walk. Yes, it is. Now, Isbell can steal a base as well. Cam Gallagher, who got the sack fly last time up to start the scoring for us. Isbell, they're looking at him, aren't they? A 2-2. Gallagher pops it up. And that won't get Isbell anywhere other than uh, back to first base. One away. And it will be Fletcher coming in now. He is two for two today with an RBI. Fletcher. Again. Oh, did they get him that time? Isbell, you idiot. Out at first. And there's no one on. Two out. Fletcher gets it up the middle. And Fletcher having a good day. Three for three now for him. And in comes Nico Horner, who is 0 for 1. And Horner, no, I thought that was number 600, but it is caught by the first baseman. That ends the top of the fourth. It's still 3 nothing, and it's Chance Cisco, who is 1 for 1, to face Griffin Kenning. First pitch swing, and again hit to the first. The first baseman have had a lot to do today, haven't they, from both teams? Smith gets the out at first. Sanson Dare comes in. He's 0 for 1. It's a 1-2 pitch, and that is straight up. Anybody could catch that. It's going to be Nico Horner at third base. That's two down for Westberg now, who is one for one. A 3-0. And that is well hit, but Isbell's there. Oh, no, he's not. It's over his head. And it's a two-out double. It's the second one out there in center field. One for each team now that looked as though it was going to be a simple catch, but just, just uh, found the grass out there. Sanchez comes in 0 for 1 today. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ground ball. Sega has it. Over to first. And that'll do it. So it's still 3 nothing. Four hits apiece as well. Dominic Smith now, who is 0 for 1, comes in. I think he did get a walk, didn't he? It's an 0-2 pitch. And Smith swings through strike three. And that'll do it. And a change of pitcher as Louis Diaz comes in now. His ERA this season is 137. He's going to start things off against Corey Sega. It's a 3-0. Just get yourself on base here, please, Corey. Instead, he decides he'll pop it up into left field, and that'll be two away. In comes Joey Gallo, who's 0 for 2. A full count on Joey. 
And he draws the walk. Well, Joey's not going to steal much, is he? Adele comes in now. He is one for one with a walk as well. A 2-0. Joey Gallo, that'll end the innings. They probably could have got four outs there if they wanted to turn the double, couldn't they? So top of the fifth is done. Still 3-0. Kenning to face DeVoe, who is 0 for 14 now this season. A 2-0 pitch. And that'll be 0 for 15 as that goes straight up. And it is uh, Fletcher that makes that catch for one away. Vavra comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. A 3-1. And that is a hit into left field. JJ has it on the on the on the hop. But uh, it's a single. Reutschman now, who's 0 for 2, comes in. Another 3-1. And that has gone straight up as well. That should be two down with the man staying at first. Now let's see if Kenning can get out of this fifth innings. It's Kirschdad coming in, who is one for one. A 1-1 one -one pitch. A ground ball to Fletcher. And that should do it. Yes, it does. And we are through five. We've kept the Orioles scoreless. Griffin Kenning is looking like the pitcher we wanted when we first got him in. And JJ will lead us off. And he's 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-2. And JJ gets a little bit too much under that. And that is one away. In comes Isbell now, who is 0 for 1. Of course, got stupidly picked off at first last time up. This time he draws a walk. And let's see if he can do a little bit better. As Cam Gallagher, who's 0 for 1 with a sack fly. Cam Gallagher. Oh, it's going to be... No, it's an error. Third baseman looked like he did well to get the glove on it, but then decided he's going to throw it away. So a second error for the Orioles. It is two on, one out for Fletcher, who is 3 for 3 today. And Fletcher pops it up into right field. Now, is that going to get Isbell over to third? No, it's not. So two away. With two on. A new man, Martin Perez, comes in. ERA of 253 for him. He's going to face Nico Horner. It's a full count. Two on, two out. Left-handed pitcher. Come on, Nico. He has not done it. And that'll end the top of the sixth. Still 3-0. It's turned into a little bit of a pitcher's duel, really, hasn't it? Rio Ruiz will come in. He is 0 for 2 to face Canning. It's an 0-1. And it is... It is... It is leaving. And it is 3-1 now. The lead is cut into a two-run lead. 376 feet over left field there. And Canning will now face Chance Sisko, who is one for three. It's a 3-0. And is Griff about to fall to pieces on us here? Santander comes in, representing the tying run, of course, now. He's 0 for two today. It's a 1-0 pitch. And that could be a double play. Fletcher to Sega, only one. But it is the lead man. That's one away now. Man at first for Westberg, who is two for two. A 1-0. Westberg, that could be a double as well. There's one. Fletcher can turn it, and that'll get us out of the sixth. Our lead is cut by one that innings. It's still 3-1. Perez will face Dominic Smith, who's 0 for two. It's a 2-1, and Dominic Smith hits it well, and that should be at least a double for our first baseman. Rolls to the fence. And there he is, sliding into second with a leadoff double. Excellent work there from Dominic Smith. It gives Corey Sager a chance now to drive in some runs. He's got 112 RBIs this season. And he's not going to add to that there. And Smith will stay at second as well. That is one away. Joey Gallo, who's 0 for 2. It's a 3-1. Can he get a second walk of the game? Yes, he can. That, of course, gives us a force now at third, doesn't it? Joe Adele will come in. He's one for two. A 2-2. Two -two. Joe Adele. Oh. Thought about it. Stopped. And it's two out. And it's JJ with a chance now to uh, extend the lead. He's 0 for two today. It's an 0-1 pitch. JJ gets it up the middle. And is that going to score a run? We're turning. We're coming home. And we extend the lead back out to three. JJ with an RBI single. And it is 4-1 now as Isbell comes in. He is 0 for 1. It's a 1-0. Isbell up the middle. Is that going to score Joey Gallo? He'll do well. He's coming home. He is going to get there. And Isbell with an RBI single. It's 5-1 to the Yankees. Nicely done. Nicely done. Isbell with career RBI 97 there, I believe. And it's No, no it's not another change of pitcher. It's Cam Gallagher, though, who's 0 for 2. Does bat well versus lefties. Not so much on that occasion. And we stretch. It is 5-1. A win, of course, and we are champions of the AL East. And it is Sanchez to face Kenning, who continues. 
And that is absolutely slapped through the left side of the infield for a leadoff single. Canning, that will do it for him. Seth Elledge will come in. ERA this season for him of 341. He's going to face DeVoe, who is 0 for 15 this season. It's an 0-2 pitch. Elledge starts things off with a strikeout. Nice one. Vavra now, who is 1 for 3. It's a 1-2. Elledge with another strikeout. He has come out with a point to prove. And can Elledge now strike out the side as Rauchman comes in? He's 0 for 3. It's another 1-2. And it is another strikeout. And Seth Elledge... That's how you come out of the bullpen to make an impact, mate. Wonderful stuff. And it's Fletcher, who is 3 for 4, to lead us off against Martin Perez for them. And Fletcher pops that way up. And that'll be 1 away. Brings in Nico Horner, who's 0 for 3. A full count for Nico, and he swings through strike 3 for 2 away. Dominic Smith, who got the hit last time up, started us off, didn't he? Did a really good job. On this occasion, he watches strike three as well. That does it for the top of the eight. It's a four-run lead. We're 5-1 up. It's Kirschdad to the plate to face Elledge. Is Elledge going to notch up a fourth strikeout from four batters? Yes, he is. Elledge absolutely on fire as Ruiz, who hit the home run last time up, steps in. That does the home run, uh, the strikeout streak. But it is a fifth batter in a row retired for Elledge. That is two away, and it's Chance Cisco now who is one for two. It's a full count. And it's a walk. And uh, the run ends at five batters retired. In comes Stanton Dare, who's 0 for 3. It's a 3-1. Oh, dear. No, it's staying in. Gallo's there, and that'll end the innings. All right, we go to the ninth. We're four runs up. And it is Sega to lead us off against Laras. Is, is that? No idea how you would say that. His ERA is 3.78. And let's see if we can get some insurance runs here. 0-1 pitch. And Sega grounds it there to first, and that is one away. Brings in Joey Gallo, who's 0 for 2, with a couple of walks in there as well. And that's what Joey Gallo does, isn't it? He His batting average may not be... For, oh, it's an error. A third error of the game. That's a bad one as well. But he does get... He, his on-base percentage is never bad. The, the, the batting average of 192 doesn't sum up what he does exactly. I don't feel like anyway. Joe Adele gets a hit into left field. And, of course, it is a contract year on Joey Gallo as well. He's, he's up for renewal. And we do have a decision to make whether we keep him or whether we uh, do let him go. But it's 2-1-1 on one out for JJ here. JJ hits it, but straight to center field. And that'll be two away with runners staying at first and second. And it's Isbell now who's one for two. A 1-2 pitch. Isbell strikes out. We can't get any insurance runs. And it's Elledge to try and close this thing out for us. Westberg, who is two for three, steps in. First pitch swing. And that should be catchable for Isbell. No, what have we got there? A ground rule double? I'm hoping. <laughs> it is a ground rule double. All right. Brandon Bellick comes in. Starting pitcher for us at the start of the season, of course. And a good starting pitcher for us last year. It's an 0-2 pitch. Can he start things off with a strikeout? No, he can't. Oh, and it's worse than that. It might even be a run back. No, it's not. Runners at the corners, though, with no one out. We're not going to do it, are we? DeVoe, who is 0 for 16. It's a first pitch swing. He hasn't just got his first hit, has he? No. Can we stop the run from scoring? No, we cannot. So it's 5-2. And uh, one away with a man at first for Vavra, who is one for four. It's a one-two pitch. That could end it. There's one. Can Fletcher turn it? He can, and we are the champions of the AL East. So there we go. Division clinched. We will be facing... Uh, well, the Tigers are going to be the top team, aren't they? So we'll be facing the LA Angels in, uh, in the first round of the playoffs. That could be a tough one. Uh, it might mean we come up against Otani. Oh, it could be it could be the uh, the Astros as well, couldn't it? The Houston bin lids. Uh, it depends who wins that division. There's only a game between them. But that'll be for next time, guys. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as I said, I will see you next time for game one of the ALDS. Hopefully, this is going to be the year that we can get past the ALDS. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a few games left to go here now, and uh, it'll be very much a case of resting this starting rotation. And uh, yeah, don't forget to nominate your uh, MVP candidates. Who should be our four to go? There's a question for you. Who should be our four starters in the uh, in the postseason?
Bennett, Marley, Kenning, and Nichols are maybe the ones, but it's difficult to not give Andre Jackson a game four. Do we give do we give Andre Jackson the fourth starters role? And we could maybe put TJ Nichols in the bullpen. Maybe that could work out okay. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of that. I'll see you next time for the postseason. Take care.